yes so with this i will just uh, uh, stop the uh, observations part i can just uh, discuss about the step 3 because that is important which you have to work till tomorrow morning so step 3 is simple if you have started working with step 1 which was the most difficult to begin with then we have moved to step 2 this step 3 is very simple in step 1 we are observing the imagination that is going on the feeling the desire the thought and in step 2 we said okay now we have we are able to see this feelings this desire this you know let me ask this question whether this feeling is something which is natural to me or not do i want the continuity of this feeling or not okay. now in step 3 we are asking this question that this imagination this feeling this thought right is it leading to a state of comfortable within a state of harmony within a state of happiness within or is it leading to a state of discomfort within contradiction within and happiness within so these are the three question that we are asking right that the feeling the thought i have at this moment right what is my state of being with this feeling am i comfortable within or uncomfortable within am i in harmony within or in a state of contradiction within am i in a state of happiness within or in a state of unhappiness within so if i have feeling of opposition let me ask this question that with this feeling of opposition that i have in me am i in a state of you know am i comfortable within or uncomfortable within similarly am i in harmony within or disharmony within contradiction within am i in a state of happiness within or in a state of unhappiness within so very simple question to ask and directly observe what is my state of being so we'll continue to observe this till tomorrow morning so if i have this feeling of opposition let us ask this three question if i have the feeling of relationship let us ask this question if we have a feeling of trust let us ask this question if we have a feeling of mistrust let us ask this question and if we ask this question one very simple conclusion that we can draw and which we will be able to draw is that when i have a feeling in me which is natural right then i am in a state of harmony within a state of happiness within i am comfortable within so when i have feeling of relationship for example which is naturally acceptable to me i am in a state of you know comfort within state of harmony within a state of happiness within the moment i have a feeling which is not naturally acceptable to me not in line with human nature then i am uncomfortable within i am in a state of contradiction within i am in a state of unhappiness within so very important conclusion we can see right? and if i can see this conclusion i can relate this from step 1 you know which is step 1 where we said step 1 is simple but very important it is very important because my happiness or unhappiness has to do with my feeling my thought that i have at this moment if i have a feeling a thought which is in contradiction with my natural acceptance <clears throat> then i am likely to get unhappy likely to get into contradiction <clears throat> into uncomfortableness so step 3 we will ask this question and we'll try to observe this you know that when i have a feeling of opposition what is my state of being am i comfortable within am i in a state of harmony within am i in a state of happiness within or otherwise 
Similarly, when I have a feeling of opposition, what is my status? If I have a feeling of respect, what is my status of being? If I have a feeling of disrespect, what is my state of being? So for example, if I have a feeling of mistrust on everybody, right? With that feeling, what is your state of being? Even if you are not expressing it to the other, with that feeling of mistrust, right? Are you comfortable within? Are you in a state of harmony within? Are you in a state of happiness within? Or you are uncomfortable within? You are in contradiction within? You are in a state of unhappiness within? So we'll ask this question to ourselves. We'll keep working on this. Right? We have some examples which you can take up, you know. But your real life example would be better. As a part of the assignment of step three, while well, you are working with step three, you can take uh, care of this as well, which I have already um, partly, you know, sp spelled out. So observe in every interaction that you have with your human, with other human being, what is your feeling at this moment? Is it naturally acceptable to you or not? Do you want its continuity or not? Does it lead to a state of harmony within or contradiction within? Does it lead to a state of happiness within or unhappiness within? So just observe this. This combines step two and step three. From these observations, can you conclude that a natural feeling leads to state of harmony and happiness within, and an unnatural feeling leads to a state of contradiction and unhappiness within? So see this, whether you can conclude by your direct observation or not. And then verify which of the feeling leads to a state of harmony and happiness, trust or mistrust, respect or disrespect, love or hatred, And then what is the status of continuity of natural feelings in me? Find it out. So with these assignments, I can uh, leave it for you to work on this step three from now.